So our fake Robbie, um, this has come to a very bitter end. It's I'm afraid it's not going to work out between us. So uh, I left it off with, I've never met anyone who marks a date in their calendar as the day they first hear a song. That's ludicrous. And then he comes back yesterday. Yo, I spot Julia. Hoping this brings us closer because you haven't been a big fan, ya you know, he says. I think he's forgetting he's meant to be British. And around the calendar, he goes, oh, I feel you. How's, been, how's work been going lately? I said, you messaged me at like 2 a.m. Oh, oops, my bad, Julia. It's just that I try to respond whenever I can. How are you spending your day? I said, I'm heading over to my sister's for some brunch in an hour or so. What did you do? You know, I ain't got much going on except brainstorming to come up with something awesome for y'all. Been experimenting with some wild ideas, ha ha, laughing face. How's the weather over there? Hopefully you ain't expecting any hurricanes anytime soon, right? I said, hurricanes? In spring in Australia? No, I hope not. It looks like it might be a nice day. Ha ha, yeah. You have your day planned, so yeah, it should be nice. Thumbs up. Do you ever plan to come to my concert, Julia? Or you just want to keep your distance? Right, and this is where I think I, I thought he, he might try to work out a scam. I said, I don't know where your concert is or when. Right, I said, are you performing in Australia in 2023 at all? And he goes, yeah, darling, I'll be in Australia at some point this year. Hopefully, I'll get to perform in your state. Even if I don't, I believe you'd come to where I'm performing. Can we chat more about you? I'd love to get to know you better. I said, it depends when and where. I work full time and I'm planning a trip overseas. So, I'd, so if you're not in my state, I won't be taking time off to travel. Oh, okay, that's cool. Are you teaching at a college or a uni? <laughs> he said. I said, in Australia, they're all the same thing. We use this term university. College is an American term. I don't think they use it in the UK either. Now, I don't know, but neither does he, so who cares? And he goes, okay, I get it, darling. Want to chat about fam, relationships and hobbies? You are free to talk? <laughs> I said, it's 6 p.m. I have to cook dinner. I'm sure your missus is also waiting for you. I can be back in 30 minutes. Okay, go ahead and make dinner. When you're back, we can chat about what I asked earlier. Catch you later, smiley face. I said, what did you ask earlier? A little bit later on. And he goes, this, and fingers pointing up to about fam relationships and hobbies. I said, what do you want to know? Um, I know you're married with a kid. Or is it two? I don't remember. And I know you sketch. And he goes, I have three love heart eyes. You know all about me. So spill the tea, dear. I'd love to know the same about you, said our scammer, who's desperately trying to sound very cool. I said, I haven't got any kids and I'm not married and I only know what you post online. Like I said, I only follow you because I saw you at the grand final. I know that. You're making me see what it's like when someone isn't a big fan of you. Ha ha. What's your age, darling? I said, I'm 44. And I said, humility is good. And it's good to learn that we aren't always the main character in everyone's lives. And then I said, I just saw your post about Carlton and Voss. Love that you're invested even in the UK. And that was because he was watching an AFL match. And it was actually a really cool post. I said, you're all over the Aussie news. So this morning he comes back. It's awesome to know that I get to do some stuffs you love. <laughs> love hard eyes. Ha ha laughing emoji. And then around being humble. I know not everyone's going to dig me. But when we get tight, you'll see a side of me that's totally float your boat, darling. <laughs> I don't know. I think he thinks that it's 1950. And then around the Aussie news, he goes, did you just notice? Laughing emoji. I said, I sent that last night. I didn't see the papers until last night. I said, why do you speak like an American? I've been to England many times and you speak weirdly. So what did you think of the game and the result? Eddie will be pissed that you go for Carlton. And my Aussie viewers will know what I mean there. Laughing face. 
I said, and you were on a Lufthansa air flight? Where are you going? Because at this point, he'd posted on his story that he was on a German aircraft trying to pick movies, right? My bad, darling, he said, referring to the papers. And then he goes, I can manage both the accents of England and the US. Sometimes I find myself talking more like someone who's lived their whole life in the US, LOL, laughing emoji, said our scammer who was very confused. And then around the game, he said, yeah, sure, Eddie's pissed, but it's my choice. Cool sunglasses emoji. I said, well, I had a chuckle over it. What did you think of the game? They're calling you a super fan now. And then in response to, you know, the story about him being on a German aircraft, yeah, I was headed to London on that day, darling. <laughs> I said, sorry, when? A few hours ago on the German plane? Thought you were in the UK at home yesterday. What you see on my Instagram is handled by my management, he tells me, and most of the posts are not in real time. That's to avoid doxing for security purposes. My fans don't know about this, so please don't spill the beans, Julia, he says. And when I said I had a chuckle over his um, post, he said, did you watch it? Right. And then around his Instagram, I said, sorry, but that's rubbish. You post all the time, even from the toilet, which he does. And did I watch it? I said, yes, it was on the news. That's strictly for engagements. I expect you to understand. It's not easy for us celebrities, but on the outside, you might think it's quite an easy life. I can't reveal details of my travelling, locations, and a few other things in real time. Security is paramount for public figures, my dear. I bet you're pissed already, he says, sending a laughing emoji. I said, no, I'm not pissed. I'm sceptical. However, I find your lackadaisical attitude towards potentially making me angry really patronising, pathetic and unattractive. I'm starting to think you're an unpleasant man that I'm not sure I want to associate with. Plus, you speak bullshit. And he goes, that means you hate me now, Julia, right? Trying to bait me. I said, I don't feel any way about you at all, to be honest, which is sad for you. I don't know why you even bother to message people if you're going to be insufferable. I think you got caught in a lie you can't talk your way out of and are now resorting to acting like the child you obviously are. What are you, about 22, yeah? So, what's the plan now? It seems clear that you're not going to change your mind about me. Gotta say, I've enjoyed having you around, my dear, in his last ditch effort. I said, I don't think you have. I think you've been lying your head off, but it's up to you. If you're going to be nasty, unpleasant and ob obnoxious, I'll leave it here, thanks. Have a nice evening, wherever and whoever you are. Ciao. And it comes back. It's okay. Take care of yourself, Julia. And then he, I left it. And he comes back again. You don't believe it's me and I can't prove otherwise. I said, that's right. Good, goodbye and thanks for the content. Be good, Julia. It was nice talking to you, although it was short. I said, make better choices, Omo. And he goes, how do you mean? Because now he's starting to jerry that he was baited. I said, perhaps don't be an asshole if you want your clients to remit. Have a nice evening and good luck. What a waste of time for you. Days of chatting and you didn't even get to try and get me to buy tickets to your concert or a VIP card. What a waste for you. Blew it early. And then literally he was just typing and typing. So I was like, Robbie's typing for ages. Nah, I don't see it as a waste, my dear. I obviously have enough. I wouldn't beg anyone to buy my VIP card. I said, sure, sure. Good luck. Ciao. Well, I can't change your mind. I won't even try to do that anyway. Thanks for the love, support. Continue being a fan, Julia. I said, of Robbie. Sure. Thanks very much, darling. Be good, okay? I sent a laughing emoji, which he then love-hearted. Since we're done, Julia, I have to take you out now. Bye. And I said, why are you still messaging me for F's sake? I'm not a client who will remit. Just crawl away. Just to let you know that we're done, he says, completely insulted. I said, whatever. Who's looking for clients? Well, it doesn't matter anyway. I said, care factor zero, 
Just go away for F's sake. I actually think he's going to be back. But that sort of ended a, a little bit abruptly. Um, I don't know how he thought this scam was going to go. He was literally being so obnoxious. So I thought, oh, I didn't have the energy. But, you know, we'll see. <laughs> Bye.